Hey, what's going on guys? Phantom Phoenix player here. Today we are going to be doing a tutorial on a selecting a boat. Selecting a boat to travel in. I just have set up a mini thing here, but you can do it in the real ocean. Uh, question of the day. What is your favorite mob in Minecraft? But either way, as you can see, we have a redstone torch. Now you can click, let's say I want the dark oak one. Then I would click it to the red is pointing towards the dark. dark. But the thing is, is this is just a wall, so this one doesn't actually matter. So you'd go to the actual one, which is over here. You could always just finish and do it over there, but... I point it in the exact same one as this one would be, as you can see. Then I look up and I press this button. I wait a few seconds. And a boat will spawn right down there. Float up to me. Then I can ride on it and go wherever I need to go. So, how this works is if you guys have ever seen... Um, one of the selectable panels you have then is basically the button is just connected up to a redstone line that goes across that I have created um, so they repeat or the redstone the redstone comparator detects what level it's on and it goes higher so it goes up once it gets to a certain block let's say it gets up to here there is enough redstone stickle to go to this one, which powers this repeater, which turns this redstone lamp off. But, there is a redstone lamp under here, which when this redstone is activated, but not the top one, this will go, turn this one off, and this one will be on. Now, if you will look at that, you will see that it changes... And we'll keep going down the line. Now you can always have a bigger, and it goes right back. You can have a bigger selection, but there are only uh, six boats in Minecraft. So you can only select six, but you could cut this up. I just wanted you to show the full capacity. This is as far as it can go. It can go eight. So as you can see, if you guys wanted to take like a screenshot, or you guys just were going to copy it, it would be, um, it would be block, with the comparator way down there, blocks down, then redstone dust on top of it, then right next to it, block, and then you make a, a little, like, tr um, square, one on top, one on bottom, one on side, and one on the other side, then you have dust, comparator, and then another comparator, now, on the end of the side with this repeater pointing, you add a redstone torch, and then a block with a redstone torch on top of it. Then after that, all I have done is put sticky pistons with droppers pointing down. Now, when you guys build this, I would suggest putting blocks right here so it's, there's a definite shot to get into the hopper line. But I've just ran that hopper line all the way down into the dispenser which will dispense it with the um disp automatic dispenser it is comparator uh, repeater redstone dust going around and then another compute uh, repeater going into it now you guys can do this anywhere like this i just made for here but you guys can make this in the real ocean or right next to a harbor but I made it here. Now, all I've done for the button is I've ran a um, redstone line going up and going across here. And when the um, dropper is pushed into it, this will detect, this will be turned, when you turn it on, it will turn that on. And then I've just filled them up with bolts. Now, when you're building this, um, it's not very complicated. You will need uh, quite a bit of droppers. Not dispensers. You don't need uh, dispensers. You only need one dispenser. You need an uh, item frame. You need an item. You need a um, comparator, a repeater, 
um, redstone torches and just a bunch of redstone dashes along with sticky pistons. Uh, you could also, if you can't find sticky pistons, you could also um, use a rep uh, uh, the, uh, um, I forget what it's called, um, an observer. So you can take an observer and say this one is, you can say you don't have it. You can always just run a, let me just get a piston. You can, if you don't have any um, slime, you could also probably take this, go like that, and then put a comparator here. That would work as well, but then you would have to move the redstone line further right here and have the um, dispenser or the dropper right there where that sticky piston is pointing down at the repeaters. Now this way, if you do it this way, there is one problem with it that is a pretty big flaw. Um, if you did it that way, every single time you clicked around to the next one, you would get a boat dispensed. That, you would have to fix it and do a huge amount of other redstone um, to prevent it from doing it. Because once it gets to that... You probably have to re run a redstone line and do some redstone logic, but I would just recommend sticky pistons to shoot it out the dropper into this um, hopper, and that is it. Now, then, once you are completed with that, now you guys can also probably put this up one block and have this wall here, but you could also do it like this and just know from memory, but I put this here so you know. Now, you could also use arrows, but it might be a little different because an arrow points automatically up to that one. Not straight up, so it would be different. Uh, you'd have to, when you put them in, you'd have to do it differently. Now, what you guys could also do is, if you guys want to, you could have a... Uh, d uh, d a hopper pointing down towards all these so you can feed them in you could probably have a chest on top for each one now you could also if you would like to you could add a um after that you could add an item sorter that way you can just put a bunch of boats in one chest you could put a chest like here and just run that hopper line up into there into the sorting system and then, all you, and then as it gets sorted, you would you wouldn't have to have anything. But if you are, if you could do that, if you guys don't want it, you could. I'll get right back showing you how that would work. Okay, guys. So all you would have to do is so run a line, um, run a line of hoppers with a the chest, uh, then a dropper that shoots them up the water stream. Then goes. To, then you'd have to make the water go down through the hoppers, and for each hopper, you'd have to have some. Uh, just take this design and put it down, just like you did with this design down here. Just take this design right here and expand it that way with the hopper line, doing the exact same thing that way. And then it would just sort the items. You will need a few items to start off with, but then it will just sort the items for you. You can take them out of the chest, shoot them down, and then they will automatically sort for you. Now, now you can just decide what boat you want. So, you know, uh, if I want a spruce boat, I'll just go here and go here. Go to that one. Press this button. And then say I don't say I want it again. I can always click another one, and then this one comes up, but if I don't want it, I can just get rid of it. Now, the other one is also coming, so you just have to press this again, but say there's, then you can keep going like that. Now, you have to wait between each interval and wait for the pistons to go and push out the block, but other than that, it would just keep going. And that is an automatic uh, system. Now, when you're building this, I would recommend that when you take you take this output 
right here from this repeater and you put it down further and you take that all that input from it and put it down some distance so you don't have this huge bulky thing right next to your shore of course if you you could also do this on a corner of like a house or like a building say you have and you can make a building that's just a dock with the wood going like that and then the water could expand out here but I would just say take this whole system and lower it down a few levels so you don't have to see it. But that's it for today, guys. Have a wonderful, fantastic rest of your day. And see you in the next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.